Hey guys, it's Cindy from True North Style. I'm here doing a music vlog for you. I'm going to be talking about some of the new songs that I've been buying on iTunes, what I've been listening to, as well as uh, a lot of the new records that I've been buying lately because I did just get a brand new record player. And yeah, so I've been buying a lot of records. I had a lot of records at my parents' house that I'd bought over the years. So I have some from my like high school time when I was just buying records and also some new purchases. So I'm going to start with those. In normal stores, um, a vintage album, depending on how rare it is, can go from like $5 up to $50, depending on how rare it is, sometimes even more. Um, new albums usually run around $20 to $50, depending again on if they're double records or special releases. Um, the new records tend to be heavier and better quality, so it is kind of worth it to spend a bit more money. They also usually um, include the MP3s, so you have like an MP3 version as well. One of my all-time favorite records is Tea for the Tiller Man by Cat Stevens. This is my mom's favorite artist, so when I was growing up, she had all the records from when she was a teenager and would always play them. So when I saw this in the thrift store in high school, I bought it um, just to have my own copy. One of my, again, all-time favorite um, artists and Wild World is one of my all-time favorite songs. So if you can find some Cat Stevens, I highly recommend um, listening to it. If you ever watched Skins and saw the montage from season one where they all sing Wild World, it has uh, it has just like a resonance, that song. It, it doesn't ever get old. So one I bought just recently, um, and it's a new record, is Still Bell by Bill Withers. So this is a re-release, and it has some of his biggest songs on it, like Use Me and Lean On Me. Probably his most famous um, album. But uh, there's another one I really want as well. I forget what it's called, but it has like Sweet Wynonia on it and it has Harlem. Another one from high school is Michael Jackson Thriller. This is another album that I had growing up um, and just played the, the crap out of it. So many amazing hits on this one. Billie Jean beat it. Human Nature, PYT. Um, Thriller, obviously. So, so many. And then it has the awesome Tiger insert. Michael Jackson at his best. Um, another one I bought is Faith from George Michael. This one has Faith, of course, as well as Father Figure, which is an amazing slow song of his. And um, I got this one again at a thrift store. I will say that buying albums in thrift stores, at least in Toronto, is really hard. They're, they're very picked over, but when I was growing up, I guess they weren't as cool. And it was really easy to find them at thrift stores. So maybe in your area, it'll be easy to find them. So definitely check that out. Um, I bought the Heart record, which has What About Love and These Dreams. These Dreams is one of my favorite songs from Heart. This one I got at Sonic Boom, but it was used. And I believe I paid like four or five dollars for it. So great album. More Credence Gold I picked up at Ransacked Universe. This was, I think, $7. Um, and it has Fortunate Son, which is my favorite Creedence song, one of my all-time favorite bands, um, CCR, but it has tons of their hits on it, like Hate hey Tonight, Who Will Stop the Rain, um, Sweet Hitchhiker, like tons, tons, tons. So great, great record. This one I got at Ransack as well, and it's just the Eagles on the Border album. It has The Best of My Love, which is probably the biggest song on here. But I love the album art of this, so I just bought it mostly for the cover. Because I do have The Eagles' Greatest Hits on record as well, which has like all of their massive singles except for Hotel California. So I didn't need to buy this, but I just reminded me of Utah, and I just really loved it. So sometimes you buy the album for the art, unfortunately. <laughs> the Steve Miller Band. Book of Dreams. I just bought this at Cops, and this was one of their $3 bin albums, so it was a really good deal. And it has um, Swing Town, Jungle Loves, Jet Airliner, a lot of uh, great Steve Miller songs on there. So um, another awesome uh, rock band. If you haven't heard of them, you should check them out. The Purple Rain record from Sonic Boom in Kensington Market, and this still has all the original like promo stuff on it. it has the original price tag for $6.99. But it was 13 and you can tell um, right there. Another used record, but that's in really great shape, is the Slippery When Wet Bon Jovi, one of my all-time, again, favorite bands, and has my favorite Bon Jovi song, which is Wanted Dead or Alive, so love that. So the only new ones I have are the Bill Withers record was new, and the Nirvana Unplugged I bought. This was $20.00. 
at uh, Sonic Boom. I really wanted to get the In Utero re-release, um, but I ended up not getting it because I'd rather have the Nevermind re-release, which is currently out of stock, so I'm waiting to see if that comes in, and if it doesn't come in, then I might just buy the In Utero one instead, but I prefer Nevermind as an album. I did pick up the Nevermind re-release on CD. I know that's not new, but I was just like watching so many interviews about the In Utero one, and I think I want the In Utero box set, or, or to get the album, so I didn't want to get that, um, and I saw this and it was on sale, so I just got the um, Nevermind version that has all the like reissues and um, extra, extra like studio stuff that they did during that time. Um, I also bought the Nevermind uh, Classic Albums DVD, which has like the behind the scenes making of the record, which I believe I saw this on TV a couple of years ago, and it was really, really good. So I'm hoping it's the same one. Um, but again, this was really inexpensive, just at HMV. And then lastly, I bought Pearl Gem 20 because I'm obsessed with Pearl Gem. This is an awesome documentary that was done by Cameron Crowe on the band. Because um, Cameron Crowe is, is married to, or used to be married to, I'm not sure if they're still together, um, one of the girls from Heart, Nancy. And Heart is a Seattle band, if you didn't know. And so she's really into the Seattle scene, and that's how like he met people from Pearl Jam and a lot of the people in the grunge scene, why he did singles and... Yeah, just had all these great relationships. This this documentary is awesome. I am also reading Five Against One, which is a pretty good Pearl Jam biography. Not as good as Everybody Loves Our Town, which is the oral history of grunge. That is an amazing book. You need to read that if you like anything about grunge music or if you're interested in it. Um, that's an incredible book. But this is just about Pearl Jam. So far, so good. I'm about, well, that's where I am. So I'm more than halfway done now. Um, but I've been obsessed with them. They have a new album out called Lightning Bolt, which I really want. But um, I'm waiting to see if I'm going to get the record again version, which should be out at the end of the month, um, depending on how much it's going to be. Otherwise, I'll just buy the MP3s. But I did buy the Pearl Jam box set. This is the 1990-1992 box set. It's for 10, which was their first record. Um, my favorite record of theirs. And it comes with uh, three albums. You can just kind of see them there, but it comes with the 10 remastered, and it comes with 10 remixed as well, and then, you can see it there, and then these are all the heavier records, and it also comes with a live album from Drop in the Park, which, is, which was a free concert they did in Seattle um, in 1992, and that's a double record, and the MP3s for this album, um, and then inside, when you open it up, it's so heavy. Um, it comes with a bunch of like fun little photographs and stickers and things in here. It comes with this composition book that has all this like tour memorabilia and stuff from there. These two years and set lists and pictures um, that are from the collections of Eddie Vedder and Jeff Emmett. Um, and then it comes with all the uh, CD MP3 versions of the Pearl Jam Remix and the Pearl Jam Remastered CDs, as well as it comes with the MTV Unplugged DVD from their MTV Unplugged, which I don't think was ever released before, so um, that's cool. And it comes with a re-copy of the tape that Eddie Vedder sent um, Jeff Emmett and Stone uh, to audition for the band. So this has Once, Alive, and... Oh uh, crap, what's the other song? It has three songs on it. Once Alive and Oceans. So that's on here. And I don't know if you have a tape deck to listen to it. I haven't listened to it because I don't have a tape deck. But I assume that would be kind of cool to listen to. Uh, so that's that box set. That's pretty expensive. It's hard to find and came out in like 2009 so it's not new. Yeah, it was like $150. But it came with a ton of records, a ton of stuff, so I thought it was worth it, and I'm really happy with it. Okay, so that takes me to new stuff that I'm listening to. So if you don't like all these old artists and older records, I have my computer right here and my iTunes open. So uh, what I'm listening to, I'm loving Lissy, if you like Lissy. She has a song called Everywhere I Go that I think was on a movie soundtrack a couple years ago. It's a slower song, really, really good. Um... But she has a new song called Further Away, which has a real, it's kind of like Haim slash Stevie Nicks. It's awesome. Haim has a new album out, 
Uh, it has a lot of their old songs on it that I love, like Forever, um, Don't Save Me, uh, Falling, as well as some other newer songs. Uh, I don't have the new record because, again, I, it's one that I want to see if it comes out an album um, to buy. And plus I have most of the songs already, so, but I love Haim and they're an amazing band if you haven't heard them. Houndmouth is another amazing band that I'm loving. I've tweeted about them a lot. My favorite song is called Casino Bad Things, which is sung by the girl in the band. There's a guy and a girl lead singer and sometimes they sing together and sometimes they sing separately. Um, but that's my favorite song of theirs. Um, Penitentiary is amazing as well. Those two are probably my favorite. San Fernan, and he has an amazing song called Sunsick, which is actually sung by a woman. All of his songs are sung by other people, but um, that song is amazing, and it was a free song on NPR.com for a while, so again, I tweeted about it, but if you want to hear it, um, check there first. It, might, it was on like one of their singles of the week. And some older stuff I'm loving. I'm loving um, R.A.M., I'm the song Losing My Religion. It's in um, the scene where Brenda and Dylan break up in 90210 and like season two I think it is that they break up or season the end of season one and it's so sexy and <laughs> um it's always been like one of my favorite songs but I've been listening to it a lot lately as well as um a song called Banditos by the Refreshments it's a song I heard on satellite radio and I hadn't heard it in forever and I've been listening to that a lot the Fixer from Backspacer, it's a Pearl Jam song, it's amazing, and um, I've been watching The Voice a lot, I, I love The Voice, and whenever I hear songs that either I haven't heard in a long time, or I just like the, the renditions that contestants do on the show, I tend to buy them. I have a lot of The Voice um, songs, and so two that I've bought from the season so far are Love Interruption, that one's by James Wolpert, <laughs> and it's a Jack White song, um, but I love his version of it, and um, I bought Jackie Lee's version of House of the Rising Sun. I love the animals version, but it's really cool to hear it sung by a woman. So I really like that. And they have a really cool version of that song that's for Sons of Anarchy as well, that they change all the words um, to go with the show. Uh, that's also a really cool version to listen to if you like the show especially. And James did a battle with Radioactive by Imagine Dragons, which is a song I've heard a million, trillion times, but I didn't own it, and when I heard him do it, I decided to buy the original version, because I think it's still better than his version, but um, it made me like like the song even more, I guess. Um, same thing when I heard Sirens on Jimmy Fallon, and I liked the song ever since it came out, but I've never loved the song. And once I heard it, them do it live, I was just in love with it. So that's become another one of my favorite Pearl Jam songs. Oh, also the Tori Amos cover of Smells Like Teen Spirit is really cool. 911 by Wyclef John, which is a, a song he did with Mary J. Blige, which is not new, but I love that song. So that's another one. If you guys have some favorite new songs, you can leave them below for me to check out. Otherwise, I hope you like this music vlog and uh, look for some more videos coming soon. Okay, bye!